Now, first alert weather with meteorologist Tyler Jankowski. Kind of an icky day. We've had a lot of them. Yes, we have. We've had our fair share. There's some good news for the weekend. It looks like there's going to be less rain Saturday night into Sunday. So Ooh, good. it never was for all of us. Now it looks like it's for less of us. We'll take a look at Futurecast here in just a bit. But I wanted to show you this stat here. Uh, I don't know. I wouldn't call it a good one. But in Burlington and Plattsburgh, very similar situation over the last 30 days. 21 or so days of the last 30 have had some amount of rain. We classify that as either a trace or more, but still if you're getting a trace of rain, it's probably cloudy. So that's a sign of how cool and how cloudy and damp it's been over the last 30 days. And now we actually have some dense fog out there. This is the view over Burlington. Notice how the lights have become even more difficult to see in the last couple updates and the visibility report at the airport is two miles, but certainly in spots. It's a whole lot less than that. Temperatures 45 there. Less than a mile visibility in Middlebury right now, two and a half in Saranac Lake. Not as bad at the airport in Plattsburgh where the report is eight miles. But if you're going out at all tonight, just know you might run into some pretty thick fog. There's no rain. The rain waits until, say, late tomorrow morning into tomorrow afternoon. So the other thing that's worth looking at are the levels on Lake Champlain. They're starting to go down just a little bit. 100 feet is flood stage, so we still have a long time before we get below flood stage, but at least we're not going up into the moderate category here in the next couple days. Looks like receding levels will be the trend. So the rain tomorrow, it's a little milder though, even though we have the rain. And then Saturday, I think there'll be a little sun later in the day, especially late. And then uh, overall, it remains cloudy and cool. And these numbers that you see on the temperature map right now really haven't moved that much in the last couple hours. So we're in the 40s. The exception is Bennington where it's in the mid 50s and we'll keep the clouds through tomorrow morning. But see how the steadiest of the rain really doesn't come in until later in the morning. This is 11 o'clock. There will be pockets of heavy rain as we go through the middle part of the day. And I think by tomorrow evening it starts to lighten up. It's just some leftover showers and those showers will last into Saturday. But remember I mentioned a little sun later on Saturday. It comes in from Canada, so the best chance for sun later Saturday would be far to the north, like Plattsburgh and Burlington. And then on Sunday, rain comes in from the south. So it's definitely southern Vermont that has the most risk on Sunday. I think it'll be wettest to the south. This is a newer model run with the northern edge barely getting to Rutland, but some other solutions are up near Burlington. Either way, I don't think it's Burlington or points north. It's really southern Vermont that has the rain for Sunday. So we'll keep the icon dry, mainly dry in the Champlain Valley on Sunday with a high in the low 60s. And then early next week, showers come in mainly in the afternoon on Monday and Tuesday. And then for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, the showers could be just about any point in the day. So we'll keep an eye on it. Steph, Brian.